Well, good morning, Bonix. How was your first night in your little cage? You like your tortilla? I guess you don't like broccoli. The wife thought you would, but guess not. But we got a plan for you. I think we're going to build you a home. I'm actually one of those nice people that won't cook you. What do you think about that? Yeah, I bet you approve. You're going to love your little home once we get it built. Well, this is turning into a bit of an arduous task. Trying to build a little home for our bunny. I was going to try to maybe build something with 4x4s or whatever, but I uh, started pricing lumber supplies and wow. Yeah, I could be spending anywhere from 60 bucks to $100 in extra stuff that I need, so I think that's going to be out of the question. And looked around online at some cages and uh, yeah, there's a nice one on Amazon.com for 35 bucks, but unfortunately it's out of stock and they don't know when they're getting it back in stock and I don't want to leave my bunny cooped up in this cage for a long period of time so the next possibility is maybe building a pen with my extra chain link fence maybe something in the back here um, I don't know something square maybe rectangular no idea I would like to get rid of all this junk and this may be the way of finally doing it I want to just trash most of this stuff so maybe build a nice pen back here for the bunny and that way he's got some running around and stuff like that so he's not all you know cooped up in a cage so yeah so here's all my chain link this is excess from over the years and I got a lot more buried back here so chain link is not a problem I even got a gate right in here that's buried but yeah, it's got the latch and everything. I mean, I could put that on there, but we'll see. I don't. I may or may not use it, but yeah, so there's no problem there. And I got plenty of poles, so there's no problem here either for supplies, chain link, and poles for building a pen. And then I got my old doghouse here. This is from when my some of my dogs were still alive. My other dog doesn't use this anymore, but still in pretty decent shape just needs to be cleaned out but this could be his home inside the pen so this is probably what I'm gonna wind up doing just hammer some poles in the ground and put the chain link to it attach it to it with wire and he'll have himself a little place to run let's see how it goes don't worry Bonix I'll build you a home yet get you out of this cramped up cage but in the meantime, yeah, here, have some more grass. <laughs> well, here's a better idea. We might just try to keep the skeleton of this redneck gazebo, just take all this crap off of it, get rid of all this junk, put chain link around all four corners, and even put a gate somewhere, maybe in here, and of course the dog house and I think he's got himself a little uh, a little pen basically 10 by 10 area here so this may actually work out and I may not have to spend a single cent wow that would be awesome what do you think about that another tortilla you don't care <laughs> Oh, well, it's cleaned up a good bit. All the junk out. Cleaned out the area we're going to fence in, basically all four corners. And we'll probably put the doghouse over here somewhere. Well, there's the pile of crap. Old chairs and that'll be my burn pile. Yep. So next will be the chain link. I might try to rig something up top here, maybe wire mesh or something. We'll see. Uh, I got a flyover. It's like a news chopper. That's where we're at. We got three quarters of the way done. Got the chain link using wire to kind of strap it to the existing 
gazebo here and we got our gate we're getting ready to set up had a slight issue with the chain link obviously I had a bad piece and it wasn't reaching the ground so we're going to use two by sixes to kind of fill that gap in which will redneck suffice yeah this is cage. redneck rabbit cage this is basically about right because we have not spent a single cent on this so <laughs> so far that's where we're at all right we've got the gate in and the pole in the ground far enough for a bunny now we'll be adding another layer of chain link across the top here and then some chicken wire for the roof hopefully that'll keep the owls out we shall see well it's complete this turned into an all-day job two levels of chain link chicken wire on top and even put a couple pieces of plywood for a shade slash stand you know to kind of chill on still figuring out the arrangements I already brought Bonix in about to let him out and he's got his little dog house to keep him out of the rain so about to let him out here shortly yeah I already found the nearest piece of shady plywood and he's just exploring somewhere There he is. Well, there you have it. Enjoy your new home, Bonix. I think you'll like it. <laughs> well, while I was uh, off camera, Bonix actually escaped. He actually managed to fit through the chain links, so we put the excess chicken wire around here. Actually, got a patch that up a little bit but yeah you're fast yes you are but that's all right we got you so yeah you enjoy your grass and uh, don't try to escape again 